to your cohesion classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to understand place value of whole numbers. At the end of this video, you will have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. In this lesson, we will learn to represent whole numbers in different ways. The whole numbers we will work with can go into the hundred millions. When we read and write numbers in different ways, it deepens our understanding of place value and the true value a number is representing. First, let's look at standard form. This is the standard way you will see any number represented. The standard form of the number 71,824,642 is written like this. Next is word form. This way of representing a number is basically writing the number from standard form using words. Lastly, expanded form takes the number and breaks it down by adding up each place value to represent the whole number. Now, let's take a look at a sample problem you may encounter when working with place value of whole numbers. You may be given a number in standard form 71,824,642, and then asked to show the number in two more ways. This would mean representing the number in word and expanded form. To successfully represent these numbers, we will need to rely on the place value chart to be accurate. You will notice at the top of this place value chart, there are three periods, millions, thousands, and ones. Each period contains a hundreds, tens, and ones place. When our number is placed in this chart, we can use it as a tool to write the number using words. If you look at the millions period, the number is 71. So we write 71 million. Looking at the next period, we have 824 in the thousands, so we will write 824 thousands. And lastly, you will see we have 642 in the ones period. So we will just write this as 642 without naming the period behind it. Now that the number has been shown in standard form and word form, we will move on to expanded form. This concept seems the most difficult to grasp because it is breaking down the number to the simplest values, using place value increments to build the number back up to the standard form. You will always start with the highest place value on the left, moving toward the right. This number will be read as seven times 10 million because seven is in the 10 millions place. Now, you will add the next place value, which is represented as one times one million, because the one is in the millions place value. You will continue on by adding eight times 100,000, because eight is in the 100 thousands place. Two times 10,000, because two is in the 10 thousands place. And four times 1,000, because four is in the thousands place. Lastly, you will do the same thing for the ones. Six times 100 plus four times 10 plus two times one because of their corresponding place value positions. Now you have used place value as the foundation to represent a whole number in three different ways. You can see how important the place value chart can be to keeping the value of each of these numbers clear when reading them. Now, let's take a look at a sample problem you may encounter when working with place value of whole numbers. If you are given the number 6,352,971 and asked to provide the value of the underlying digit, the correct response would be 300,000. This demonstrates that the student understands that the value of this digit relates back to the place value chart and the position it falls in. A common error that can occur when understanding place value is how the word is read and written. For example, the number 71,824,642 is often read 71,824,642. Many times when a larger whole number is read, we naturally add the word and in towards the ending. This would make the form incorrect because the word and read in math indicates a decimal point.
To address this issue, have students read numbers aloud and practice dictating them and writing word for word how it is spoken. This can help because at times we do not even realize we are adding the and in. Another common error encountered with this skill occurs when a given number has zeros in it and students are asked to write the number in expanded form. For example, the number 200,304 is written in expanded form. We just skip over the places that have zero in the place value. To address this error, remind students that we skip over zeros when writing the number in expanded form because zero is a placeholder when a place has no value. To help solidify understanding of the place value of whole numbers, revisit the video Describe the Relationship in Place Value Patterns. To expand this concept, practice using the correct word form when referring to larger numbers in the real world, such as city populations, prices of homes, or distance between planets. For more fluency when writing in word form, be sure to point out any time you happen to see a number written in words, for example, in the newspaper, when writing a check, or on TV. This concept also lays the foundation for future work with place value related to decimals. To gain a full understanding of this concept, visit the lesson page to review the rest of the place value multiplication and expressions set of lessons. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.